And we're talking about Charlotte's second largest employer. They've announced that they will slash nearly 11,000 jobs company-wide. And folks who follow the banks closely tell me Wachovia's workers here in Uptown will likely be the first to go. It is a city largely built by the banks. You can tell there's a lot of construction going on. So even tourists like Kamala Kleindienst know what Wachovia's woes will mean. It trickles down, that's for sure. From the hot dog stand. People don't have the money to go out and eat, you know. Uh, so we're already feeling the crunch. You have a nice day, sir. To the people already laid off from their jobs. He said that uh, he could no longer pay us anymore, so he laid me off, and that was December 10th. So I've been out of work ever since December 10th. If thousands of those high paying banking jobs are also gone, some of your neighbors and favorite businesses will likely disappear as well. And the jury's out on where that's going to go. UNC Charlotte finance professor Tony Platt says Wachovia is now a possible takeover target. J.P. Morgan and Wells Fargo are potential buyers, and those companies would likely cut thousands of additional jobs at Charlotte's second biggest bank. We're not out of the woods yet. And Dr. Blatt there has followed the banks for more than 20 years. He tells me he gives it a 50-50 shot that Wachovia will survive without a takeover. But merger or mo no merger, he predicts that today's job loss announcement at Wachovia will likely not be the last. Reporting live from our WCNC mobile newsroom in Uptown, I'm Mark Boone. All right, tough time.